hello, um, I'm Stephen Hill. You are the internet. You are, you are, you are the internet with all of your child pornography, uh, videos of cats, and BuzzFeed style lists of 10 things that, wow, OMG, you won't believe. That's you, just so you know. Uh, here's another video that, um, that I've done for, for this channel. And uh, a few people have put in the comment section of various videos that I've put up recently, why don't you do this album or that album or this album? And um, if I haven't done an album you've suggested so far, well, the problem is I started this blog, this vlog, if you like, whatever the, it's called, this channel. Seems weird calling it a channel. Um, I started this halfway through the year. So obviously a lot of stuff's already come out and I've already missed. So it feels... Um, a bit silly to go back and then upload a video sort of four months after an album has come out but what I thought I'd do to kind of combat that uh, some of the albums I've missed this year is do this video which was going to be the top five um, I've done the top five uh, new bands of the year of 2015 so far uh, so what I thought I'd do is a, something a bit like that but the top five British bands of the year who haven't just released debut albums because four of my five that I did in the the best new bands were actually British and I would say at least two of them would probably get into my top five British albums so this is like follow-ups or albums from established bands from Britain um, and also there's six of them so I said it's gonna be five there's actually six and I'm not sure if therapy count as a British band but I just like to say that's a promo copy of therapy because because um, I'm from the media and I'm absurdly important much more important than you'll ever be um so i got a promo copy of it lucky me now i think it's been a good year for british music as i said there's been a lot of new bands um uh, we never learned to live um employed to serve murdoch to name the three kind of like killer ones bellevue days as well god damn all releasing new music um although i spoke to people who said it's not been that good a year for music if you're one of those people um obviously you know what with blitz kids <laughs> and Glamour of the Kill splitting up. How can you say that on the year that Glamour of the Kill split up, that it's been a good year for music? It's been a good year for the planet, the year that Glamour of the fucking Kill split up. But anyway, I actually picked I picked six rather than five. So it's not only is this really a top seven with therapy, I don't know if they count as Britain, um, but it's actually it's a top uh, it's a top six, actually. And the first one I want to talk about is this. I don't know if you can see that. Um, Two Hands by Turbo Wolf from Bristol, their, their, uh, their second album. I love Turbo Wolf. Uh, they've been sort of perennial support band to many bands that I really, really like over the last, you know, couple of years. From Cancer Bats to Death from Above 1979, they've performed wonderful supports. Lots of like, great Camden Rocks last year as well. Um, the previous album, which is called uh, Turbo no, Turbo Wolf's the name of the band. Something, I can't remember the name of the previous album, but it, their debut album was really, really good. They've been kicking around for a long time, sort of slowly but surely building their reputation as a as predominantly a great live band. But, you know, this record is uh, it's just a great mix of kind of punk rock, old school 70s, um, hard rock, late 60s psychedelica, and massive, massive choruses. Chris, their lead singer, not only has a... A really great voice to kind of he's not got a, a rock sort of baritone voice and he's not got one of those like robert plant uh, rob halford metal screeches either i don't know if you call robert plants a metal screecher but you know what i mean a higher register but he's got kind of a a slightly more high-pitched raspy um voice and he just sounds he's just a cool sounding motherfucker so you might have heard the the singles rabbit's foot or solid gold they're a pretty good indication of where this album goes the title track uh, no, uh yeah the title track is good as well um actually no there isn't a title track on here it's nine lives which is an aerosmith album this is better than anything uh, on the aerosmith album nine lives and it's just a really great kind of garage punk psychedelic fusion in 2015 so turbo wolf two hands go and get that uh, another band um who actually i saw with uh turbo well first time i ever saw turbo wolf was also the first time i saw these guys everything is fine by the band hawkeyes from leeds um just more of the same they just get better and better and better songwriters um hawkeyes i think they're a really really great throwback to when alternative rock was 
dangerous and exciting and artistically uh, credible at the same time. It's not like Nickelback or Godsmack or Stained or any of those fucking god awful bands. Um, it really reminds me of parts in some parts of Jesus Lizard, in some parts um, Mud Honey, in some parts even possibly some British bands like you know Therapy. I mean they toured with Therapy. They yeah they kind of do that big boisterous alternative rock sound really well but there's also um, bits of Dillinger Escape Plan and bits of um, you know Drowning Man and these kind of metallic hardcore bands in there as well and more than anything they just write really really fucking huge choruses really huge choruses really catchy but at the same time quite uh, unsettling everything is fine by the band Hawkeyes from Leeds go and get that as well also um, good year for metal in general um, good year for these guys. I saw these at Hellfest recently. Silosis, Dormant Heart. Silosis have obviously been kicking around for a few years, and um, I know some people like them with Jamie Graham the most. I think you know, as a live band, I've seen them be brilliant with Josh, uh, Josh Middleton uh, fronting the band. He's a great guitarist. Uh, he, whatever you say about Silosis, he is a truly brilliant guitarist. I mean that guy. Can sh I'm not usually impressed by technicality, but that guy can fucking shred. There's no getting away from it. And um, I just think this is the best collection of songs that Silosis have ever done. I normally will, even like Monolith, the last album, I thought had some really brilliant songs on it, but it, uh, it wasn't as coherent um, as, you know, the really great thrash albums. Now, they're not only, he they're heavy, they're very eclectic, it's different, and they just, they sound like a band who have really kind of settled into their groove. So I think Dormant Heart, if you're a fan of modern thrash influenced British metal, you're not gonna find a better album than that in 2015. Um, one of the most hyped bands of 2015 in the world of British metal. This was an album a lot of people were looking forward to seeing. It is, of course, the album Brainwashed by the band While She Sleeps. I was never a massive fan of While She Sleeps. Which I think people might have expected uh, While She Sleeps to be the sort of band that I would love. I know, you know, Merlin, my old buddy from the Metal Hammer podcast, he was all over This Is A Six. He was like, it's, you know, the, the best album of the year, etc., etc. Um, I always thought they were a great live band. Um, I found This Is The Six to be sort of just above average, really. You know, um, for a, a, a metallic hardcore band, I, I wanted a bit more of the hardcore and a little bit less of the metal in there. That's what I think, if you're gonna be a metalcore band, um, I would like to hear the core as much as the metal. You don't really hear that in most modern metalcore bands, you just hear the metal. Um, and I think they've, they've addressed that on Brainwash. I love the production on this record. Tom Dare, who used to, oh God, here we go. He used to edit Terrorizer magazine, and he's a lovely man, and, a, and I consider him to be a very, very intelligent, um, articulate young man, but he compared this to Disturbed, which I would bring back the death penalty for claiming that this sounds like Disturbed, for nothing else other than that. Um, you've probably heard the songs. It is, it's a long album, but it's just chock full wall to wall bangers and that level of simplicity um, that yeah, just fucking meaty raw riffs um, that While She Sleeps have. I think Loz's voice sounds really good in it as well. And it's now they've they've armed themselves with a consistent level of those chant along choruses, which is always for me that that is the best bit uh, and the best bits about This Is The Six. So it's just more, it's just more of everything. You know, like I, I it seems to have, the fans seem to love it, but I feel like in the media, people are sort of going, oh yeah, while she sleeps, they've had their day. Shame, don't, you know, real shame. Um, this is, apart from, I talked about Failure a few weeks ago, apart from Failure, this is the, the best album of the year, I, I think so far. It is from Brummy, Grindcore Legends, Napalm, Death, Apex Predator, Easy Meat, where to even begin with this record? It's just fucking foul. It, it, it infests every pore of your being the second you press play on this. Napalm Death, a lot of people go, it's just about speed, it's just about aggression, it's just about power. That is just so unfair on the, the experiments that Napalm Death are willing to take as a band. I think they're bordering on experimental avant-garde music. I think this record, 
they do everything that they've ever done plus tons of other stuff it is a deeply unsettling piece of music it is not one paced it is not predictable it is it's it's just to call it art it sounds pretentious to call it art doesn't it you go like oh it's a real piece of art this is a i don't give a fuck this is a real piece of art this is like so much thought and so much care and love has gone into this album to make something which really you know I was talking about Cattle Decapitation yesterday, and this is the same sort of feeling where when extreme metal's great, it really kind of, it's diff not only is it difficult to listen to because it's, it's not just about it being sonically loud, it's about it being kind of unsettling and making your skin crawl, and then it'll just blast you, and that there's so many dynamics, and the lyrical content, as you would expect from Napalm Death, is great. I, fucking brilliant album. Fucking brilliant. What a brilliant album. If it wasn't for Failure, this would be my favourite album of the year so far. And um, uh, the last one, I'm just... Not only is this a great record, and it'll probably be in my top ten, definitely be in my top ten of the year, I'm just really proud of the gentleman from Palm Reader because this is, beside the ones we love, their second album. I've been there, I don't want to go since day one, but pretty early on I, I spotted something great in Palm Reader and I've always thought they were amazing live the first time I ever saw them was upstairs the bar flying Camden opening for some band I can't remember who it was now and there was, a, there was me and their management and two other people the bar staff and the other bands in the room and they were just fucking brilliant and they've got better and better and better and with the exception of maybe Gallows at their finest they are the band to beat in underground UK hardcore of the 21st century. Maybe along with mm, Bastions and Feed the Rhino are both really good as well. Uh, no, fuck it. Palm Reader are they're the, they're the they're the ones to beat. Like they are better than any other band that this scene has thrown up. There's elements of Dillinger on this. If you expect, there's bits of Gallows. It's bits that remind me of Neurosis. Um, Josh's vocals are just raw and impassioned. And lyrically, it is totally uncliche. It's not the usual chest beating fucking macho bullshit. Like these guys are schooled on bands like Code Orange and Converge and Cave In and Botch. And you can really tell there's, there, there's a real love for the genre of music um, that they're trying to that they're trying to play, and I think that's I think it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. They understand this genre of music, um, and while you might say, well, it's not anything particularly new, uh, it, it's just better than any other. So there you go, Palm Reader, Napalm Death, while she sleeps. Silosis, uh, I should do this faster than I Hawkeyes, Turbo Wolf, uh, and, and, th and therapy as well. Get the new therapy, because obviously, obviously get the new therapy. Um, thanks very much. What do you like from Britain? Huh? Yeah? Oh, the tables are turned now, haven't they? What do you like? Oh, yeah, sitting here watching it. You're thinking, oh, I just watched this. Now you've been asked a question. Put it in the comment section. I'll probably do the top seven uh, or six uh, American and European releases of 2015 soon. But now, Bonjour's going fucking nuts, so I, have, I, I really have to go. See you later.